Taraba State Board of Internal Revenue has sealed off the first bank branches in the state for tax evasion amounting to 350 million naira. The bank was accused of contravening Section 104 of the State Personal Income Tax Act, which empowers the service to carry out uh, the strain on any tax defaulter. Correspondent to Willa Benenusi filed this report. Bill of the customers and staff of First Bank PLC Jalingo branches were stranded as the bank premises were sealed off by the authority of Taraba State Board of Internal Revenue Service. The bank had legal battle with the state board for three years when it took the revenue board to a tax appeal tribunal in Bochi. The court ordered the bank to pay the accrued revenue of over 300 million to government coffers at the end of the case. Some of the frustrated bank customers expressed their fear in an interview with TVC News. Actually, I came to withdraw uh, some money from the bank. I went to all the uh, branches and I noticed that they are under lock and key. And I'm very, very frustrated. As the Taraba Internal Revenue Service has distrained the bank, in fact, I do not blame them because it is the fault of the bank. They refuse to pay, they, they, they refuse to pay the revenue to the government. This is why their bank is distrained. I feel so bad because I came to the bank to operate. They said the, the bank could not pay their tax. How will you be operating in a state without paying tax? I think the bank has to do the needful. The secretary and legal advisor to the Taraba State Internal Revenue Service, Nerius Johnson, shed more light on the development. The bank is owing the state government about 350 million naira. This sum was realized as a result of tax audit investigation that was carried out in the bank. And uh, the revelation showed that the bank had suppressed remittance of taxes to the state government between 1999 and 2003. He insists that the action is not targeted to frustrate the state's residents, but was taken in good faith by the government to meet its social responsibilities. To want to call on the citizens to be patient is just a momentary action against the bank. And we also enlighten them to know that the bank is denying them from more basic amenities that the state government will have provided to them. When TVC News asked the bank manager for a response, he said that it is only the bank headquarters that can respond. Residents are watching with keen interest to see the next step to be taken by the state government and the bank management to resolve the impasse.